In my life, there are two places that I'm really happy. One is on my yoga mat, one is on my motorcycle. Don't know if there's quite the correlation between the two of them, but both of them allow time and space to slow down. It gives me an opportunity to think, an opportunity to be very present. Uh, those two places are really where I feel most at home, on a bike and on a mat. I made some interesting decisions in my life that uh, caused me to have to make some changes. Somehow yoga presented itself to me as an alternative to doing the things that I, that I was doing. And yoga to me, it almost became this place. It, it was a workout, it was therapy, it was like church. And um, within that context, things started to change. I did a yoga teacher training five, six years ago. And when I looked around the room, I uh, looked a little different than everybody else. Oh, this else. is gonna be fun. Third row, sit low. I taught my first ever yoga class in a Harley Davidson repair shop. And as a joke, I put a sign up on the door that said outlaw yoga. An outlaw is somebody that doesn't fit the normal mode. That's one definition of outlaw. And it seemed to work and uh, here we are, you know, five years later, doing what we're doing. We live in the 21st century, people want to work out. So we can combine the idea of yoga, spirituality and presence with a physical workout practice. I think one of the most interesting things about being a person in general is we want to be liked. And so many people make choices in how they dress, where they go, the kind of music that they listen to, to fit into a group. And for so many years, I did that. And literally through the practice of yoga, I got to know myself. I was able to make choices based on what I wanted. Riding motorcycles, doing yoga, playing rock and roll in a yoga class, that's me. Hopefully, in seeing me be me, I'll inspire other people to be who they are. I'm Mark Stefanowski, and I'm a highballer.